Hey everybody, my name is Kedam, welcome back for another video of Middle Ages 2, boys. Choice of life, of course. We're back for some more. We're about to continue our adventure over here. We're in chapter 2, obviously. Uh, let's see if we can do our stuff. So we're going to do investigation. We can also go to the city, to the actual kingdom, go around and uh, talk to people. But uh, I kind of want to continue my investigation go, uh, and stuff like that. So... Let's just continue what we're going on. What's going on here, boys? So we got only two health and three uh, kingdom stuff. So three uh, crowns. So gotta make sure that uh, we get those back a little bit more of those. So Torek thoughtfully examined some notes on this post. You interrupt him. Uh, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Are you ready, buddy? Yes, Your Majesty. I got all the information I could. All right. There we go. Until I forget, you can visit me at any time. I will remind you of all the information that we had managed to get. Who is under suspicion? How do we deal with the assassins? Uh, how do we deal with the assassins? Well, tell me who you suspe uh, suspect and I will have him arrested. However, you can still think about your decision and tie the president into the dungeon. Okay. I got it. Uh, what if the wrong person gets arrested? So who is under suspicion, boys? Let's find out. I've already checked many and only a few people remain under suspicions. Unfortunately, there are uh, they are your hunt, Beatrice, the esteemed Victor, and Margrave Abateur. Really? Why exactly them? And uh, let's get down to business. Is there any more information? I feel like it could be Victor. I got a feeling it's Victor, boys. It, it, it feels like it. Let's get down to, uh, to business. Well... Is there any more information that I gotta, uh, I gotta know about? So, I removed a lot of suspects, but these three, unfortunately, it was impossible to collect useful information about them. Really? Uh, okay, enough. Why? Why, why is that? I can't close, uh, to Beatrice, I can't get close to Beatrice. Her maids remember, uh, remember me well. And about Victor and about Abateur, I could not find out anything at all. Still, I'm a useless spy. Well, you know, it's all good, my guy. I'll find out something. How to uh, how to look for clues? I'll find out something. No worries about that. Uh, Torek thoughtfully examined some notes on his post. You interrupt him. Repeat introductory information about the assassins. I'm going to look for clues, so we can go back to the map and actually look for the clues and stuff like that. But uh, I feel like I don't necessarily need to look for the clues. Uh, what evidence? I I know who wanted to kill me. Let me just say I know who wanted to kill me. So, uh, it's not... See, Avatar could... It could have been him, but... I have a feeling that he's not, like, he's just... He just would be, like... It's not in his... In his nature to do that. It really isn't. It couldn't be Beatrice. I don't think it should be her. I really think it's Victor, boys. It's... It, it's gotta be Victor. Let's just pick up Victor, whatever. I, I got a feeling it's, it's Victor for sure. My guts tell me it's him. Uh, this is a serious accusation. Yes, of course. Well, your majesty, I will order to uh, to arrest Victor. You can visit him in the dungeon later. Great. There we go. So we're going to arrest Victor, boys. I, I, I've got a strong feeling it is him that tried to go against me. So Beatrice's chamber, uh, dungeon, and uh, castle courtyard. So the dungeon is where he's going to be arrested at. What about the castle courtyard? I want to see what's going on over here. We got something going on first. Uh, your subjects has arrived at the cattle f uh, castle for uh, the audience. They're waiting in the reception room. Uh, I'll accept, I guess. There we go. You have to quit business and go to the throne room for the audience. Sure. What is it? What's going on here? Uh, a paladin, peasant, or a merchant? Let's talk to the merchant, boys. Let's talk to the merchant. What's going on here? A servant loudly announced that the venerable merchant and seerfer is Marcus. Your Majesty, my village is suffering from a smallpox e epidemic, but I think I found a way to fight. I need your permission to test it on humans. Why don't you test it on uni uh, animals first? I've noticed that milkmaids never get the smallpox. Maybe they carry it in the milder form. The method mit uh, of healing small uh, the smallpox is to get uh, pus from the uh, pox marks of patients and inject it into healthy people. Call it uh, a vaccine. Test it on yourself. Test on the prisoners. Fear God. No, you know what? 
if you're gonna test it on people, I'm gonna test it on myself first. It's important to do that, boys. Alright, so if something happens, at least it, it, it is what it is, right? So test it on myself. You have experienced the methadone on, on yourself. You had fever all night, but you haven't had smallpox since. Your courage and recklessness earn respect and subjects follow your example. There it is. That's what you gotta do. That's that actually that's like actually a thing that happened in real life. I don't know which king it was, uh, a king of England or something like that, boys. I actually did that, uh, where uh, there was a vaccine and stuff like that that some people, doctors, wanted to implement, and the king basically said, you know what, put it on me first before uh, the, you put it on the citizens. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least the uh, the king. That's gonna have the respect of the peasants, right? So it's important to do that, boys. It's important to do those things. So uh, the next one, the peasant. I want to see about the peasant. Decrepit peasant crawls to your feet on his knees. Uh, oh, your majesty, I'm many years old and I've been working in the fields as I was born. But since yesterday, I have been suffering from a terrible back pain. I can't work. Recommend the ointment. Tell the doctor about the issue, this issue. Um. I don't know about the doctors. Uh, I'm gonna recommend the ointment. What, whatever, I'm gonna recommend that. You told the ointment rece the recipe of fly agaric and ointment. Now all the inhabitants of the kingdom come to you with the diseases and waste your time. Well, it's whatever, boys. The extra crown I gained, I just lost it. It's okay. Uh, serve it loudly announced the venerable paladin. I come into the all drunkberg. Here comes a paladin, boys. Remember, we are member. Uh, uh, we are a paladin ourselves. We are a member of their group. Uh, my king, here's the deal: a group of fallen women have uh, settled in the Eastern March. They are real wretches. What would you like to do with them? Bring them to the fortress for re-education. Here we go. We're not going to burn them. We're going to just bring him in. Oh, the fortress have already been a source of ill old sounds that disturb sleep, but now they have doubled their intensity. Locals are unhappy with their neighbors. Well, what can I do, really? Right, I'm doing my best, boys. I'm trying to be a kind king here. Who will your majesty think to receive? Finish the audience. We're good. So, that's it for the audience, I guess. But let's finally go to the courtyard, boys. That was a lot right there. I managed to do a good thing for the first time. The other ones, I guess they wanted me to burn the witches. I'm never gonna do that. I'm not a bad king, boys. I don't burn people. That's just rude. That's just too much. Something flashed under the tree. Looking closer, you notice Serpentine. She's diligently watching her sides. Come closer. Pass by. I don't give a fuck about Serpentine. I'm passing by. I don't give a fuck. You pass by pretending not to no notice anyone. Oh, okay. I gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to the... Alright. Let's just come closer, I guess. Let's talk to, uh, to Serpentine. Let's see what we got. So, what? You already are the king. And I'm sincerely happy for you. And how are you doing exactly? A bit worse than you are. I'm trying to get back to the Fabian's Tower, but I haven't been successful. I've had a lot of time to think and now I've, uh, I have no doubt that mischievous old man has a key to my shackles. What old man? Serbini looked at you and took a deep breath. Doesn't matter, I still can't help. Um, I will catch these and puke, uh, puke wool at night until the ends of my days. Well, probably, I guess. You're, uh, you artlessly left the cat to be sad alone. Yeah, it is what it is. Too bad for you. I can't help. And that's not my problem. Alright, why do I, why would I go to Beatrice's chamber? That I don't know, boys. I'm just gonna go to the dungeon right away. It's not wasting time. Victor is old enough that he was put in a more comfortable cell. Examine the camera. And what about the guards? What about the guards? Uh, the only guard is quietly snoring on a, a stool. Wake him up. Let him sleep. Wake him up. Hey, don't touch me, bastard. Oh, your majesty. Please forgive me, beha uh, my behavior. I didn't realize it was you. Oh, you. Oh, you plebeian. You use your entire uh, vocabulary to tell your guard how bad he is. Oh, I do it, boys. He needs to learn from his lessons right here. The guard stands on the post and begins to sob with a last look. Uh, visit Victor? Now that's great. Alright, uh, let's just visit Victor, boys. Victor is writing something at the desk in the corner of the cell. 
Order to open the door. I see everything is fine. Talk to Victor. Let's open the door. Open the door. Uh, Victor surprisingly looks at you. You're free. I'm No, I'm not going to say he's free. Close the door. What the hell? I'm not going to... No, I'm just going to talk to him, I guess. I thought I could open the door, go into the cell and talk to him like that. I guess not. We can't be theoretical in that. Like, we can't be uh, like in theater type of stuff right here, I guess. I'm just going to have to talk to him from the outside. As I understand it, you didn't just come to visit the old man. Yes. You're right about that. Before passing down judgment, tell me why you decided that it was me. Intuition, my guy. Just pure intuition. It, uh, is that If that is your will, but in the end, I will say that it wasn't me. Please don't regret your choice and be careful in the future. You will be punished. Sounds sincere. I need to think this over. No, you will be punished. It only, it's only like you, unlikely that you will be supported for a sentence without evidence, but no one will argue with the king. You made bad decisions that have damaged your reputation to the point where the couriers no longer fear you. One night your enemies conspired against you and killed you on your own bed. Well, isn't that just great? Unbelievable. Alright, well, we're not going to go to the dungeon just yet then. Well, actually we can. We can go to the dungeon. Let me just go back. Let me do... Uh, let me do that. We're examining the cameras this time around. Let's examine the cameras. Let's see what happens. Instead of bed of straw, uh, there are real bed and as, as well as a desk and a canopy toilet. All right. What about the guards? I'm going to wake him up. I'm still going to wake him up. I'm going to say, don't worry about it. It's okay. The guards breathe a sigh of relief. Smiles on you. There we go. Uh, let's visit Victor, boys. Let's just visit Victor. Um, I see everything is fine. I see everything is fine, I guess. Uh, Victor was visited. Now you can go and rule further. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to talk it out with him. I'm going to say yes. Intuition. There are evidence. Is there any evidences, though? I don't really have any evidence. No, I don't have any evidence. So I'm just going to say intuition. You will be punished. I do lose a crown still. But uh, the guard anxiously looks at you. Victor will be executed. Let Victor out. Let the court decide. The court needs to decide about this, boys. There it is. So the guard carefully listens to your orders. There we go. The justice will provide. We're not going to execute anybody. We're just going to let the court decide what happens to him. Is he going to get out? Or is he going to get executed? That's not going to be on my hands at this point. It's up to the court, boys. Uh, I handed uh, I handed over to Torek, and you'll be informed to the to the of the outcome. All right, I'm off. The trial went on several days. The nobles weighted the importance of all the evidence and ultimately Victor was sentenced to be willed. I don't know what being willed means. Is he free or something? I don't know, boys. I really don't know. Uh, Torek comes to your chamber uh, early, early in the morning. What is it? I'm sorry to disturb your sleep. You need to, uh, to choose an advisor. I wanted to personally recommend two candidates. Sir Boris and Sir Morgan are, are well established. Okay, yeah, because uh, Victor is not in the um, picture anymore. I need a new advisor, I guess. Makes sense. Uh, tell me about Boris, I guess. What about him? Uh, he's young and only re uh, recently at the court. His origin is a mystery to many, but he showed himself to be an excellent manager and an, uh, an I judge, first of all, by business. Okay. And uh, tell me about uh, Morgan. Morgan's come from an ancient family has lived at the courts uh, all his life. Such person will per perfectly cope with the duties of an advisor. I'm gonna go with uh, with Morgan, boys. He feels like the more respectable one and the one that has the most knowledge about everything. So let's go with Morgan. Uh, I'll pass on the solution. There we go. So we're going with the uh, with Morgan. Wait, royal wedding? We're getting married, boys. I guess so. So these ways are closed. We can't go to Beatrice's chamber anymore. Uh, so now we can either go to the delegations or the royal wedding. What's the royal wedding? Let me just go to the delegations of the Southerners. It's important to go there as well. Make sure that uh, we deal with that. Uh, remember, we are in the close. We are close to being at war with the Southerners as well, uh, right now. So we need to be careful. Uh, delegation has arrived at the castle. What do you order? 
I'm gonna meet them with uh, with respect, of course. There it is. You stage a pompous reception and increase your authority. There it is. You need to meet them with respect, boys. A feast was arranged in, your on in honor of the arrival of the ambassadors. The nobles and ambassadors of the southerners, led by Sergio, are gathering. You need to be present. Dress in simple clothes. Dress like the king should. Well, it's obviously a big meeting, so I'm not gonna dress in simple clothes. I'm gonna dress like the king should. There we go. You've been dressed in the latest fashion, but you lost consciousness before a very violent corset. How does that even make any sense? What was that, boys? Why did I lose an art from that? That's unbelievable. In the midst of fun, Sergio rose from the table next to you and wants to talk to you. Let Sergio speak. Let him speak, boys. What? The courtiers didn't like that you interrupted the fun, especially because of some southerner. Really now? Thanks for the feeds, but we're not here to have fun. We came with the damn man. We can do that later. Let's listen to him, whatever happens, I guess. If you value peace in the kingdom, I demand to return the lands of your father took. Can't wait. How is it? Uh, advisors? How is it? Exactly. Well, our army is at, our da at your doorstep. If you want, the fortress of the valley will be f will fall. And your fa a whole kingdom will fa uh, fall right after it. I declare war. Everything will remain as it is. Everything will remain as it is, my guy. It won't be the same. You can't save the lives of your people if you agree now. You will lose the lands anyways, but we promise not to touch you. Get the fuck out of my race, my place. If you want to declare war, so you don't have a peaceful resolution to this. No, I don't. Then die. Protect yourself. Defend honor. Defend the honor. Protect yourself. How do I protect this, boys? Either way, I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm gonna protect myself. Plates of food flew in all directions as you jump under the table. A servant fell dead next to you with crossbow bolt in his body. This man just tried to kill the king, you dumbass. The assassination attempt fails. A detachment of southerners flee, flees the throne room. Guards seize the southerners and execute them right away. Let's go, boys. The guards drew their swords and rushed at the southerners. The rest of the guests are looking at you in disbelief. Almost die. Who did? Who doesn't it? Who doesn't it happen to? Retire to a safe place. Almost die. Who doesn't it happen to? I guess. Whatever, boys. There it is, Joker King. We got an extra crown for that. Just make jokes out of it. These guys think they can kill me? Think again. I've survived worse than a crossbow, boys. Your speech cheer for, uh, cheered up the guests. You even had fun at the feast until the advisors advise you to go to a safer place. Well, there we go, boys. That's what I'm talking about right here. You can't sleep because of an assassination attempt. You hear ringing in your ears and you feel dizzy. Read a book. I'm gonna look at the window, boys. The castle courtyard is empty. Looks like the southerners are still in the main building. There was the sound of fight outside the door. Uh, through the gap, you saw a knight dressed in southern armor destroying your guards. Damn. Estimate. Enable logic. Turn it into... Uh, uh, enable logic. Come on. Logic all day, boys. You pretended to be a rack with clothes. The knight didn't notice you in the dark. There it is. Uh, Torek appears behind the, the, the knight and strikes him with a fatal blow. There we go. Nice. Good job, Torek. Thanks, Torek. I could have done it myself. No, thanks, Torek. There we go. Torek is glad to serve. Uh, my king, I'm afraid Sergio has escaped. The guards at the gates of the tower are killed. The assassination attempt was planned very carefully. Well, let's start a war. Let's start a war up. You're yeah, firmly nodded. Yeah, I'm not gonna pl pl put this blame on Torek, boys. It's a bit of the blame on me as well. Uh, I should have focused more on my army, I guess. The southerners are a real problem right here. Uh, the truce is over. I will immediately, immediately, immediately send out messengers to gather troops. Hurry up. Torek retired, tripling your guard. And the next day, the whole kingdom knew about the beginning of the war. So... Now we are at war, boys. Ain't nobody have time for a royal wedding. We've got a war to do. Overgrown wall. We gotta protect our stuff, boys. So let's go to the overgrown wall. Unexpected event. What's going on here? You must receive several people with petitions in the throne room. Everything else will be postponed for today. Arrange everyone for convoca uh, convocation. Let's arrange everyone, boys. What? The castle work is this drop. Are you shitting me, man? Everybody's so lazy. What the fuck? We got a meeting here. 
Stop being such a, such assholes, man. Uh, you could do great with a, uh, without an advice, but if it's necessary, we will provide support. There are people. Three people appear to uh, to the audience. All right. Uh, call the peasant. Call the knight. Call the. I'm calling the knight first because we're in the middle of the war here. A knight in shining armor with a rooster, a uh, feather on his helmet approaches your throne. I'm Sir Cedric uh, von Golfstein, uh, the boredom killer, the loudmouth knight, and the sharp tongue. Olstein's son of the House of Nuremberg. Please give me a new title. They are whispering to you that the, uh, the knight with his request has already driven crazy all the counts in the kingdom. Be off. Abolish the old titles. Abolish the old titles. There it is. Just abolish the old titles. It doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, so call the peasant now. What's going on? Bearded men in rags enter the room. The smell of livestock spreads through the hall. Your Highness, an illness has passed through the village and the Dubrova got sick. My kids will be hungry without it. Could you give me coins for a new one? Sure. Let's give you coins. There we go. Let's give you coins. And afterwards, he's going to hold me, boys. That's good for the kingdom right there. He was talking about a cow. Your advisors have been shamed and you are praised. Well, there it is, boys. So, the merchant now. A businessman, a businesslike man in an orbital uh, caftan and a white brand at enters the room. Your Majesty, my merchant guild has made a deal to ship exotic robes from across the seas. We can sell them to the royal car, uh, court. Uh, well, we already are stylish. We need it. What, what does the court think about this? You have told that it's not necessary. I've already, I've already noticed they're gray and around. Unremarkable clothes. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's not necessarily... We don't necessarily need it. But I feel like we could. We could get it. Just more money for us, boys. The kingdom. It would be great, right? So we need it. Oh, whatever. It's uh, it's whatever. I'm taking my money, boys. I need it for uh, paying off the, uh, the war. The merchants take the money and brings in the dresses for men and trousers with shirts for women. Your heart... Your yard didn't appreciate the new fashion trends. Well, it's whatever, old man. Is that all? Fortunately for you, the audience is over. All right, good. So that was done. Let's take a look at the wall, boys. So resting on a bench in the garden, you stared at the dilapidated, uh, ivy covered castle wall. It seemed to you, in some places, it was decorated with worn symbols. Uh, everything by yourself. Call someone for the, uh, from the retinue. I'm going to examine by myself, boys. You rub the wall with your sleeve and notice three samples, each of which are located in a separate stone. You get the feeling that these stones can be pushed. Interesting. Which stone should I push, boys? Uh, push this one, this one, or this one? I'm pushing this one in the middle. Stone remained pushed and the sound of some mechanism was heard from behind the adjacent part of the wall. Now, uh, it would be this one, obviously. It's, it's got to be the same, boys. Uh, uh, remain push. There we go. So, behind the gardener's house. Okay. And push this one. There we go. The wall behind the house began to slowly lower. There it is. I got it. You have opened a cache with three chests full of jewels. Call the treasurer, boys. We, got, we just found a treasure. Just like that. Wow, that was easy. That was really easy right there. The treasurer counted the jewels and ordered everything to be delivered to your treasury. The news of the discovery has raised, raised your status. There it is, boys. The uh, stones return to the original position. Try again. To hell with those rocks. No, it's all good. To hell with those rocks, boys. We're good now. We're good. We uh, we did it once. I don't want to, like, I don't want to force my luck right here. So let's just go to the royal wedding. I guess we're having a royal wedding going on. Uh, I beg your pardon for distracting you from important matters, but let me introduce myself. I'm Marius of the Cup Carries Guild. The best of the best. Do we happen to know each other? Well, you must have known my brother, a vile type. Uh, let me offer you my services. Our guild is known for its architecture, not only in the kingdom, but also beyond the seas. Take a look. Here's what we can build. Build the second, the second floor of the barracks. Build a wellness room. We're building the second floor of the barracks. Why? Just simply because we're in the middle of the war. It's important to bring out our military to upgrade it, boys. So let's build that. There it is. Now the guard can accommodate more comfortably. Soldiers are thankful to you. And that's an extra crown just like that, boys. We're up to three crowns. We're doing very well. 
A king benefits to have a king, uh, to have a queen. I'm sorry, but don't you think so? I'm not interested. Are there any candidates? Not interested. As I understand, Your Majesty. If you decide to discuss it, then you, uh, I am at your disposal. All right. Well, it looks like we gotta choose. Uh, we gotta choose. First off, we're gonna go to the kingdom. Let's go to the kingdom. Let's find out if there is anything we can do in the kingdom. Military activities uh, ag against the southerners. Oh yeah, we should definitely. Let's interact with that, boys. Forget about the royal wedding. Where I'm going all about the war. I'm focusing on the war right here. I want to see what's going on here. All the armies of the north and west have assembled. Are assembled. We are ready to fight. Uh, I'm ready to command. Let's do it. Tarek Ta gathered the council and began discussing the battle plan. Uh, Southerners have taken the fortress of the valley. What about the defenders? According to rumors, they've been able to hide in a tavern. That's a great tactic. The generals perspectively looked at you each other. Tarek started speaking. All right. A message has come that the vanguard of the Southerners have moved through the fields directly in the direction of the castle. How many of them? Well, as many of us, their shooters are armed with excellent bows, but nothing is stronger than the good old sword. I, I, I'd have to disagree with that, but okay. What will you do? Uh, well, Turek unfolded the map of the eastern lands and began to run his fingers over it. My king, we need to join forces with Abator and fight in the open. Our numerical superiority will decide the outcome of the battle. I don't know about that. The great plan, I understood your cur I feel like it's too obvious though. It's too obvious for that. Slightly heavily. Obviously the old man was offended by your answer. My king, I have seen many battles. We fought side by side with your father. He trusted me. All my experience tells me to act this way. Uh, okay, let's do it. I need more information. Scout reported that small detachment of Southerners were walking a few kilometers on both sides of Vanguard. They, they pose no threat, my king. As soon as the main forces of the Southerners defeated, we will deal with the trifle. What if we get surrounded? Small detachments are so just marauders. They're not enough to surround our army. We need to surround the enemy. We need to surround them. If they, uh, if they seek to surround us, we need to surround them back. We need to do a whole Roman thing. A double siege. All right, we're not, we're not gonna let them get us. Abator can't do it if he maneuvers through Berg. Yeah, exactly. So he surrounds them. So it's double. It's a double siege going on, just like the Romans did. Uh, let's split up and surround the enemy. We need to unite. No, let's split up and surround the enemies. Let's be smart about this. All right. Messenger has gone to convoy um, to convey your plan to Abator. Your army has arranged throughout the territory into small groups. One part has gone to destroy the small detachment of the Southerners, another part has gathered under your command. Exactly. It's a kind of a mix of the Roman with the double siege, uh, Roman plans, and the Napoleonic plans where you separate you separate your big army. You don't go to a big army all together, all your army together. You separate your armies into divisions, into uh, battle battalions, and um, you all each division each battalion goes and does their own thing which is makes for more light thing more faster deployment and stuff like that it's much better that way boys let's think modern warfare right here against these guys we're not going to be ready for that all right you saddled your horse and led your army into battle let's do this boys your the banners of the southerners flashed ahead a ringing silence reigned over the field the battles will start any minute Trinity, keep silence. Make a speech. We need to make a speech, boys. Like we always have to. There we go. What will you say to your soldier? About love? About oath? The oath? Love for the kingdom, boys. All about love for the kingdom. You will die defending the kingdom and your family. Exactly. Uh, so nerds are coming. The south, uh, soldiers loudly beat swords on the shields. There will be legends about you. There will be legends about all of you. Uh, yet, you, yeah, you bet. The soldiers answered. There we go. A metallic running hung over the battlefield. Everyone is waiting for your last command. S snobbishly shout. Improvise. I'm gonna improvise. There it is. Let's give our lives back. There we go. It's time for the attack. Your fearless tide uh, or right on the enemy uh, together with the cavalry. Run ahead or slow down, boys. Do we bring our cavalry? No, I'm gonna run ahead. Run ahead. Let's go, boys. The horse barely copes with the weight of the rider, and your warrior already overtaking you and dying. 
Uh, bumping into the peaks of the sunners. You wait sa your weight saved your life. Well, that was great. A horse gets killed under you and you fall to the ground. When you got up, an armored so southern warrior appeared in front of you. Seek uh, protection among the soldiers? Beckon a knight. No. Seek protection. There we go. Uh, Torek decided to deal with the knight himself, but suddenly he began to lose the duel. Cheer for Torek. Throw rocks at the knight. Throw rocks at the knight, boys. There it is. A couple of times you also hit Torek. He turned around in <laughs> bewilderment and missed the blow. Great. The crowd of southerners is standing in front of you. Your cavalry shoots down the enemy surrounding you. Surrounded you and the commander reports. Let's listen to what he says. The commander bowed and with a beam face began to make a report. My king, the southerners troops on the on the flanks have been destroyed. Their encirclement plan failed. Good. Everything was as you predicted. I knew it. Told you, man. Got it, Torek. Uh, continue in the same spirit. Let's continue in the same spirit. There are tactics, boys. Split up. Split them up. And circle them back. Commander nodded approvingly and led his cavalry on. There we go. The troops of the Sunners has begun to retreat. Your warriors are screaming to victory and you are barely on your feet for exhaustion. Sit down. We are the winner, boys. You can't sit down. The soldiers pick, pick you up and throw you out for joy. Everyone is screaming of victory. You have won a major victory. Many died, but you managed to drive the Sunners from your lands. The news of this event spreads throughout the kingdom and the bards have already begun to compose songs about that day but you won the battle not the war that is true uh, what that was a huge battle right there boys huge battle i'm a knight now i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing i i know about tactics of war boys i'm i'm really well renowned in that i know what i'm doing boys so we're good here uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up uh, finishing the video right here. We're gonna bounce back up uh, into the war in the next one, boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this video in particular. Keep it easy, boys.